painful problem and quick fix. Part of the adjustment, anyway, to Cincinnati's new parking meters. Now, the longer enforcement hours are giving people headaches, also known as tickets. I don't know if you know about that, <laughs> yeah. but WLWT News 5's John London is here now with how one block found suffering and then a solution within a short span of time. John? Yeah, over on Sycamore, Mike, which typifies the adjustment. Second shift workers used to park on the street, throw a coin in the meter, they were good to go. Enforcement ended at 5, but those days are gone. Now ticket riders are busy till 9 at night. Ticketed twice in three days. Bartender Andrew Freeman had plugged the meter like you see him doing here. But he's usually jamming at Nicola's restaurant in Pendleton and doesn't have time to go back out. A violation is a $45 matter. The second time, I almost couldn't even get angry. I was just like, <laughs> you know, I was like helpless at that point. The city started replacing old meters last month, lengthening enforcement hours to 9 at night, an adjustment for downtown and over the Rhine workers. Bar manager Kenny Huff had heard about how three other employees had recently been ticketed. Two tickets within a few days, 90 bucks. You know, that's, that's a lot of money for us. If you're over and over the Rhine, uh, you have parking garages. You have valets up and down the street. If you're downtown, you have parking garages everywhere. Here, there's nowhere to park. Huff took the meter matter to City Hall, and within a half hour, it's time it expired. We can change pricing. We can change hours. The city manager says that's the beauty of smart meter technology. Eight meters near Nicola's will be changed so that you can plug them once for six hours instead of two. In some cases, it makes sense to extend the meters like this. Other cases, it won't. There's going to be other areas where businesses want the turnover because they want people coming and going. In this case, we were able to accommodate. This is clearly an exception. One that underscores the benefit of local control of the city's parking assets. Sometime this summer, the city will have an app so you can mix drinks and refresh your meter at the same time. And the data collected by the smart meters will be analyzed in the months ahead to determine where it makes sense to increase or reduce rates based on usage. It's called dynamic pricing, and it might be coming to a block near you. Sheree? All right, John London live for us tonight. John, thank you. By the way, City Manager Harry Black wants that flexibility, telling us today that it would not have been possible without the recent investment in these new meters.